on Iraq. It's a big week there with the pullout from cities of U.S. troops. Do you have, you've said that violence will probably go up. Um, others have said that as well. Do you have a level of violence or a level of, of uh, not to be crass about it, where you might have to rethink the schedule of withdrawal that both you've laid out and is laid out in the agreement with the Iraqis? I don't think we've got a level of violence in, in our minds where it hits that point and then suddenly uh, we, we see whether the Iraqis want to rethink this thing. Um, I think Ray Odierno and our troops have done an extraordinary job in handing over security to the Iraqis uh, in a way that can allow Iraqis to succeed. Uh, we're going to see you know, the last uh, vestiges of AQI, uh, uh, Al Qaeda in Iraq, and, and other uh, extremist organizations try to uh, see if they can stir the pot. Uh, I'm, I'm confident that Iraqis don't want to return to the uh, you know, spiraling violence that we saw uh, a couple of years ago. What I think is still going to be critical, though, is for the Sunnis, the Shias, and the Kurds. <laughs> I think what's still going to be critical is to have politicians uh, in Iraq reconcile their respective communities on things like the oil laws, on, on issues like uh, how much power provincial governments have versus the federal government. There's still a lot of work to be done there. And right now, uh, I think because a national election is coming up, uh, we're not seeing as much compromise and cooperation as we'd like to see. So that's where we're going to be focusing like a lot of effort. You don't sound like you're wedded to your schedule no matter what. Oh, I, I've always said that as Commander-in-Chief, I reserve the right to make changes based on changing circumstances to protect uh, U.S. security. But I am very confident in our ability to continue to abide by uh, the, uh, the agreements that we've made with the Iraqis. They want sovereignty. They have been able to uh, really improve their uh, uh, security capacities and I want to get our troops home.